You know, the last Judge Jackson left the Supreme Court to go to Nuremberg and prosecute the case against the Nazis. This Judge Jackson might have gone there to defend them. Now, again, she was in the federal public defender's office at that point. She says she didn't get to pick and choose her clients. Uh, this really is a matter of, of due process. And I'm wondering, why make that link uh, between Judge Jackson and the Nazis and the Nuremberg trial? So, Judge, or, uh, John, in, when she was in the federal public defender's office, she said that she was assigned four cases involving mm -hmm. terrorists. But one of those cases she continued to represent when she was in private practice and could choose her own clients. She took on two more matters in which she signed friends of the court briefs in which she was advocating on behalf of Guantanamo terrorists. So that is three cases in which she voluntarily advocated for the terrorists at Guantanamo Bay in which she accused American soldiers of committing war crimes. I frankly have no patience for it. What's up, everybody? Major retired Richard Ojeda here. And what's more sickening than seeing quack partisan politicians like Tom Cotton try to one up nutcases like Marjorie Trainwreck Green and Madison Cawthorn in a game of who can put up the most ridiculous sound bites so they've got clickbait to save their failing campaign prospects? You don't think it was a bridge too far to make the, the link with Nuremberg and Nazis? No, John, again, in, in three separate cases, mm -hmm. she was representing not American citizens charged with a crime entitled to due process under our Constitution foreign terrorists who had committed acts of violence against Americans. Because that's the game of these far-right freak shows, and Tom Cotton's latest whining is all it amounts to. Cotton unleashed a ridiculous caricature of an attack against Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson, and of course he has to invoke parallels to Nazi Germany, where of course no parallels exist whatsoever. But the far right are nothing short of full out drama queens. Remember Bill Barr equating having to wear a mask in public to slavery? And of course, Trainwreck Green is still a fugitive in the eyes of the dreaded gazpacho police. They are all happy to shed some crocodile tears if that's what it takes to endear themselves to their imbecile voter base. That's a shameless politician right there. Somebody that has no interest in working with people, no interest in solving problems, no interest in advancing the needs of the country as a whole. It's somebody that wants to get their miserable behind in office another term and plays the card to build themselves a brand, build awareness, and put out clickbait for the mindless MAGA morons. That's why we have an incompetent TV and social media darlings in the Republican Party. Their voter base never looks at an issue, a bill, or a proposal. They simply latch on to whoever pushes their emotional buttons because they don't think with the rational part of the brain. Maybe they don't have a rational part of the brain, or a brain at all for that matter. They go on emotion. They see Tom Cotton making absurd parallels to Nazis and then they get scared. Without thinking if he has any point or not, they run blindly into his corner. And for that, Tom Cotton's checkbook thanks you morons. People, this is becoming the format for the modern Republican campaign. Say the loudest, most vulgar, absurd, and profane words, and stand back and rake in all the clicks and 15 minutes of fame. Even terrible coverage is coverage, because with Republicans, terrible is an attractive quality to their base of domestic terrorists and insurrectionists. Now, of course, this latest rant of Tom Cotton appeared on Fox News, the one-stop spot of the dial for the insane, absurd, and profane. It's a 24-hour network of anti-Americanism, and a statement like this is swamped under by non-stop Putin-worshipping, democracy-hating, and white nationalist ranting. It really takes quite a lot to rise above the existing levels of astonishing hate speech coming from the far right. And mind you, the entire Republican Party these days is far right. I'm hoping all of you watching this will like and follow this page. Let's raise the names and profiles of decent human beings running for office. Let's stand up for Judge Katanji Brown Jackson and take down Tom Cotton's extremist nonsense. The good news is that with social media, we now play a part in what gets seen and what doesn't. Let's embarrass Fox News by revealing them for the partisan hacks that they are. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.